two black screws to hold the side panel in. These can normally just be undone with your hands. There's no need to unscrew any of these at the back here, as they hold in separate components. Your screws in the pot, simply take a firm hold of the handle and slide it out. And there, you have the innards of your PC. Now don't panic, it all looks very technical on the inside. But the first two things you have to notice is the power supply, there, and the signal cable there, that run into the back of your optical drive. In order to change it, you're going to have to unplug these. And they just slide straight out, but be gentle, because they're still quite fragile. There's your signal. And there's your power cable. Your next step will be to unscrew the optical drive from whatever holds it into the case. Now all PCs are different, some might just slide out with clips, but ours, from the Dell Vostro 220, needs unscrewing. This leaves the drive ready to slide. However, on our PCs, and maybe on your PC, there'll be a faceplate. In this case, the faceplate will need to be unclipped before you can slide the drive out. Here, you'll see quite simply, Faceplate slides right off. Might also be time to give it a clean because they tend to get a bit dirty inside. Now, your DVD drive or optical drive is free to slide out. So you place your hand behind it and push. And there, you have your faulty optical drive. Now, Take your shiny new optical drive and just slide it in gently from the top. Looking for where the screw holes line up. Now, take the screws. Reattach the optical drive to the chassis. Final step is to reattach the cables. So if you remember, the smaller one is the signal cable, the larger one is the power cable, and you can't really get them in the wrong place. One, two. The next step is to put your faceplate back on. Flip it into the taps at the bottom. Done. And the final step, we can lay it back down on the side and reattach the side cover. Drop it in there. 
give it a good push and make sure it's up tight. Take your final two hand screws. Screw it in the back. And congratulations, you've just changed your first article.